The Archers are beating the Redwoods 12-6 to in the Premier Lacrosse League. They're bored. It's too easy. They say, let's get fancy on them. Behind the back, yup, 13 goals. Thank you, please. That's Connor Fields. He's fourth in one-point goals. First in your hearts. Nice dish by Schreiber, and then boom, behind the back, in. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. This is is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. My name's Jimmy. I'll be your host for the evening. It's the bottom of the ninth, and the Salt Lake Bees are down by one run, but how about a leadoff double? Now, the Bees at this point had a seven-game win streak, and they walked off their last game, so they're thinking, yeah, we got the magic in us. We're the Salt Lake Bees. We'll just do it again. Leadoff double. That helps. That helps. Tying run on base. That can keep the game alive. Some fans are eating ice cream. Some little kids are jumping up and down. Some dads are talking to their wives. Some ladies are dancing. Everyone's having a good time. That ball with one out, put down the line. Third baseman stops it. Can't corral it. Don't know if he would have made the play anyway, but he keeps both runners at bay. Well, now there's a runner on first, runner on second. First pitch of the at-bat, and the runner's not going and ties up the batter for a strike. There's two outs now. Oh, one, the runners take off. Fly ball. Oh, no. They're going to have to run back and tag up as Mercado camps under that one. They don't have to go back and tag up. They both get to run home. There was no cutoff, man. So the bees keep the win streak alive. That made it eight. They would go on to win 12 in a row before losing. And what happened there? Oscar Mercado drops this one. He actually drops it. It falls out of his glove. Then he almost kicks it up to himself. That would have been so cool if he kicked it back up and caught it. Congrats to the Bees. Opposite of congrats to Mercado. Not his best play. We move on to the Grand Sumo Tournament. Day 13. We got Tobizaru versus Oho. Oho and Tobizaru are seven and five apiece. They're each looking to get Kachi Kochi, which means they have a winning record for the whole tournament. Eight wins gets you there. All right. Oho hasn't hasn't done that in quite a bit. Oho is 24 years old. He's on the right side of your screen. Tobizaru is 32 years old. He's on the left side of your screen. And my guy, Toby, he's going to go sideways off the rip. Bad news because Oho is coming for him. He's not letting him grab the belt. He's not letting him do anything. It's just an all-out blitz attack because Toby didn't have his feet under him. Never gets him. Bam! Thrown. Oho demolishes that one. Now he saunters around bored. Bored of the dance. Doesn't care. That guy got thrown. He's laughing. Ah, climbs back up. Probably felt like he was climbing up a mountain. Gets to his spot. Uh, oh, just waiting for him. Mean mugging. Bows. It's a respectful game. It's respect. You beat the shit out of each other. And look at it. Just moving him. He tried to grab his belt. Locked up his arm. Said, I'm just going to keep brawling with your face, dude. You're going nowhere. Backwards. Look at that. And the drop-off, come on, falls into those people's laps. Congrats to Oho, our dude. We love him. Hey, this next event, you guys probably saw this. You guys probably saw this because it went pretty viral because Jake Jordan, he's in first place here. He's running fast. He's running faster than everyone else. He's the favorite to win this race. But for some reason, he slows down and ends up not coming in first, second, nor third. I don't even know if he came in fourth. He said, afterwards, he said, it is all right. I mean, it is my fault, so I cannot be sad about anything but myself. He denied being hurt or feeling some kind of injury. I don't know about this one, guys. This is suspect because they're saying he didn't see him coming, but this replay, it sure looks like he looks left he looks right, and he sees them coming and for some reason decides not in my best interest to keep running hard. So it's quite puzzling and quite a bad look for the sport. You might have seen it because it went kind of viral and people did a lot of shrugging like, oh. Doesn't look too good. Maybe look into that one. The All Ireland hurling final between Claire and Cork was awesome. It was a packed house. The place was loaded with hurling enthusiasts, and I, it's just very cool. 
So you get, can only take so many steps, then you got to self-pass it or get rid of it, or you can go over your defender's head and then bounce it to yourself and then score and score and put it in the net and give your team a three-point lead. That's what Tony Kelly did. The fans are going absolutely insane. And let me tell you a little something about Tony Kelly. He's been with Claire since 2013 when they last won the championship where he won both Hurler of the Year and Young Hurler of the Year. Both of them, because he was only 19 years old. He's going to win man of the match for this game because Claire goes on to win an extra time. Slow this down. Let's watch it. So here's the pass. All right, now he's got it, and he takes his steps, bounces it to himself, then he gets another set of steps, but defense is tackling in, so he's going to bounce it, pops it over the defender's head, catches it on the hurley, sets him <laughs> self-shot. So, like, catches it to set up his shot. The goalie approaches. He pops it over his head. Unbelievable. At full speed to do that when it counts. What a cool sport. Pretty unique in that way that you're bouncing a ball, slither, mind you, on the hurley as you're running full speed. And guys can whack you to shit. Congrats, congrats to Kelly and to Claire and to you guys for tuning in and for me for recording the episode and for Dalton and Rob for producing and researching the episode. Congrats to everyone. What a ride. Fan of the week, who you got? Congrats to them as well. If you enjoy these, please subscribe. That does help us. Like the video, comment, all of that helps uh, a lot, genuinely. All right, see ya.